Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me start just a few words about myself. My name is Orkan Ibrahimov from Department of CEIT. How would you react if I told you that from now on you won't be able to connect to the internet uh, without a light? I'm sure that most of your reaction would be like, what are you talking about? But actually, that's going to be true in a few years because today I'm going to talk about the most recent uh, internet technology, which is so-called Wi-Fi. Just before uh, starting, I have divided my presentation into two parts, which is specific advantages of Wi-Fi technology and general advantages. Now let's move on to general and specific characters of Wi-Fi technology, but before, let me give you a very short brief information about Wi-Fi technology. So, according to Nicola Slentino, who is the CEO of the LiFi Consortium, LiFi technology is high-speed, bidirectional, networked and mobile wireless uh, communications, which is used by LAT. So, in order to get a LiFi signal, all you need is just standard Ethernet cable, uh, LiFi ceiling unit and LED lamp. LiFi only works with LED lamps, not just standard traditional lamps are not going to work here. Uh, that's why in order to use the Wi-Fi technology, all we need is just these lamps. So, comparison between wireless technologies. Actually, the standard and casual Wi-Fi technology, the maximum speed that we can be reached is 320 megabits per second. However, after the appliance of Wi-Fi technology, this speed will be increased by a maximum of 2.5 gigabits per second. Actually, this research uh, has been conducted by the research uh, Wi-Fi consortium in April 2015. Now let's move on to the specific advantages of Wi-Fi technology. First of all, according to Harold Butcher, who is the, another CEO of the Wi-Fi consortium, uh, he's mentioned that the Wi-Fi technology uh, will be replaced by Wi-Fi and what will happen next? First of all, the security issues. Because of the uh, Wi-Fi technology, uh, the Wi-Fi signal can be around only the uh, lightning places, we will be less likely to use around the light. So, the neighbors, who is always you know, hacking the Wi-Fi modems, won't be able to hack the, this Wi-Fi technology anymore. The most specific advantages we can be mentioned is data rates. Actually, after the appliance of the Wi-Fi technology, the data rates between the directional system and an upload and download speed will be a minimum of 1 gigabit per second. However, in the Wi-Fi technology, we can be maximum reach of 250 megabits per second. Another specific advantage of Wi-Fi technology is its mobility. Under the same lightning uh, hotspot, you can use all your devices with at least minimum 1 gigabit per second speed. Let's move on to the general advantages of Wi-Fi technology. Wi-Fi technology is a so-called green technology which we understand that uh, the radiation rate will be decreased by 0.5% per house, uh, which is, uh, by traditional Wi-Fi technology, is minimum of 5% per house. So this is uh, the most healthier thing uh, that, can use for, uh, that can be used for human beings. So, uh, another benefit that can be mentioned is every lightning point can be used at hotspots. Street lamps, hospitals, airplanes, airports, from now on all the lightning places which is enlightened by the LED lamps can be used at wireless Wi-Fi hotspots. The last but not the least, the Wi-Fi technology can be used even in underwater where we can find monitoring in oceans or military navigation options can be uh, performed perfectly by the appliance of Wi-Fi technology. To conclude, I would like to 
mentioned that I have talked about the most recent technology, which is so-called Wi-Fi. And that brings to the end of my presentation. Here is my reference list. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. Thank you for your attention.